With a career spanning decades in the dairy industry, Ted Halbach has seen it all. He's a faculty associate in animal and dairy sciences with the University of Wisconsin-Madison and says the biggest change has been consolidation. When I moved to the state of Wisconsin in 1998, there were 24,500 dairies. We're now at about 7,200 dairies in the state of Wisconsin. Still milking the same number of cows. And we're making a little more milk, actually, than we did back then. Fewer farms, but with larger herds. Halbach says that two decades ago, the average dairy herd was 70 cows. Today, that number is around 200 cows per farm. We've also transitioned from having smaller family operations to still oftentimes family owned, but really larger, more kind of manufacturing type milk production. Dairy farm management has become much more specialized, Halbach says. One area that has become increasingly more important is genetics and inventory management. And that's really where the Holstein Association comes in. Holstein Association is an identification company and you can't improve your herd's genetics without good identification on the female level. And so we, you can buy semen and improve the, the, the sire side, but we're creating a, a group of herds today that are elite genetic herds. By itself, the year 2020 was a year of historic challenges, Halbach explains, and volatile dairy markets caused difficulty for farms of all types and sizes. Fortunately, some dairy producers had their, their milk pre-sold, but others had to weather the storm, per se, of, of the, the market really dropping out uh, as the supply chain tried to settle, settle itself. All of the data he's seen, Halbach says, has confirmed that dairy products, especially fluid milk, have rebounded to the tune of about a 7 to 8 percent increase of fluid milk use by consumers. They're at home, they're buying milk to drink, they're buying milk for their cereal. That's an absolute reversal of trend away from uh, buying water, away from buying sodas and stuff like that. I think in the long term, uh, the dairy industry is actually going to come out of this uh, in, a, in a better place. A silver lining during a very challenging time. Over the years, Halbach says he remains optimistic about the future for U.S. dairy because of his students and the passion he sees in the next generation. They're smart, they're, uh, you know, they're dedicated, they're hardworking, and, you know, it's like you look into that their faces and you see just that the want to and and uh, enthusiasm so how do you not uh, be positive about what the future holds for holstein association usa i'm miles ramsey